Relieved. It's just one word, but it's how the daughter of a murdered gas station clerk is using to describe how she feels after police arrested the 17-year-old they believe shot and killed her mother. Good evening and welcome to the Fox 8 6 o'clock news. I'm Neil McNeil. And I'm Katie Nordine. An agent with the State Bureau of Investigation found the teenager in South Carolina. And Fox 8's Aaliyah Sim sat down with her hours after she got the news that the second suspect is locked up. Aaliyah. Yeah, Katie and Neil, while Courtney is happy the accused killers are off the street, she says jail time is not enough of a punishment. The way I look at it, a life for a life. They took my mother's. They deserve to not have theirs. June 25th, security cameras captured this photo of who we now know is a 17-year-old male. Police say shot and killed a store clerk following a robbery. The victim, Laura Whitman. They took her life over $96. That is absolutely ridiculous. Tuesday, police charged the teenager with first-degree murder and robbery with a dangerous weapon. He was already wanted on attempted murder charges in South Carolina. They had a conversation before, you know, she was murdered. But that could be one of two things. She could have been pleading for her life. Uh, trying to stop him or, you know, they, she could have known him, yes. There's a, that possibility, but I don't, I don't know. Nobody really knows but her. Days earlier, authorities arrested this man, 57-year-old James Ward. They say he drove the getaway car. Tuesday, he appeared in a Montgomery County courtroom on murder charges. I feel relief that, you know, they're caught and everything you know i think everybody can sleep a little bit easier now a little more than two weeks since the tragedy courtney is back at work with the support of her co-workers as far as work you know i'm i'm not i'm not working alone i've got somebody with me all the time so i feel feel okay and we spoke to the Star Police Chief today. He says while he does not anticipate any additional arrests, this is still an ongoing investigation. He is grateful for the SBI's assistance in helping capture these suspects so quickly.